Health authorities in the Hamas-ruled Gaza Strip said that an Israeli airstrike caused the blast while Israel's military attributed it to a failed rocket launch by the Palestinian Islamic Jihad militant group. Brussels gunmen who killed two Swedes shot dead by police A Tunisian gunman suspected of killing two Swedish football fans in Brussels died on Tuesday. After being shot by police in a cafe, hours after an attack which Sweden's prime minister said showed Europe must bolster security to protect itself. Following is a summary of current world news briefs. Migrants drowning in Mediterranean prompts criticism. Of Malta's rescue policies a passenger on a rubber boat adrift in the Mediterranean Sea called a rescue hotline on June 23 to plead for help. The boat, carrying 14 migrants from the Middle East and Africa, was out of fuel in choppy waters. And a male passenger had just drowned. The craft was about 70 nautical miles off the coast of Malta. Within the small island country's search and rescue zone, according to position data recorded by alarm phone, the hotline operator. Within these zones, countries are obligated under international law to coordinate search and rescue operations. Hundreds killed in Gaza hospital blast, West Bank protests erupt. Time equals, 400 ms, greater than about 500 Palestinians were killed in a blast at a Gaza city hospital on Tuesday that Israeli and Palestinian officials blamed on each other and that ignited protests in the West Bank and around the Middle East. Health authorities in the Hamas-ruled Gaza Strip said that an Israeli airstrike caused the blast while Israel's military attributed it to a failed rocket launch by the Palestinian Islamic Jihad militant group. Brussels gunmen who killed two Swedes shot dead by police A Tunisian gunman suspected of killing two Swedish football fans in Brussels died on Tuesday after being shot by police in a cafe, hours after an attack which Sweden's prime minister said showed Europe must bolster security to protect itself. The 45-year-old, who identified himself as a member of Islamic State and claimed responsibility in a video posted online, is also suspected of wounding another Swedish national in his attack in central Brussels on Monday evening. Ukraine uses U.S. long-range missiles to strike Moscow-occupied territories Ukrainian forces used U.S.-supplied long-range ATACMS missiles for the first time, inflicting heavy damage on two airfields in Russian-occupied areas, with President Volodymyr Zelensky saying on Tuesday that the weapons had proven themselves. The Ukrainian military had issued reports throughout the day about successful high-precision strikes on airfields near Luhansk in Ukraine's east and in Berdyansk in the south, on the Sea of Azov, both under Russian control. Gaza hospital strike upends Biden's high-stakes trip to Israel U.S. President Joe Biden's already fraud. Trip to the Middle East was completely upended after hundreds of Palestinians were killed in a strike on a Gaza hospital on Tuesday. After the strike, Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas quickly cancelled a planned meeting with Biden. Then Jordan's King Abdullah cancelled a summit that was supposed to bring Biden together with Egyptian and Palestinian leaders. Time equals, 400 ms, greater than analysis Brussels attack underlines challenges for new EU migration pact a deadly Islamist attack in Belgium by a rejected asylum seeker from Tunisia who earlier lived in Italy and Sweden has underlined security gaps and failed returns policies, which have spurred an EU push to overhaul its troubled migration system. Mondays. Shooting came at a time of heightened security concerns across Europe linked to the Israel-Hamas war. Whatever unfolds in Gaza war. Judgment day looms for Netanyahu one Israeli cabinet minister was barred from a hospital visitor's entrance. Another's bodyguards were drenched with coffee. Thrown by a bereaved man. A third had, traitor, and, imbecile, shouted at her as she came to comfort families evacuated during the horror. The shock October 7 massacre by Hamas gunmen has rallied Israelis to one another. But there is little love shown for a government being widely accused of dropping the country's guard and engulfing it in a Gaza war that is rattling the region. Time equals, 400 ms, greater than UN Security Council to vote Wednesday on Israel-Gaza conflict The United Nations Security Council will now vote on Wednesday on a Brazilian drafted resolution that calls for humanitarian pauses in the conflict between Israel and Palestinian militants Hamas to allow humanitarian aid access to the Gaza Strip. The council is then expected to discuss, at the request of the United Arab Emirates and Russia, a Gaza hospital blast that killed hundreds of people on Tuesday. Diplomats said. In Gaza's deadliest day, 
Hospital strike kills about 500 Gaza authorities said in Israeli air. Strike on Tuesday killed about 500 people at a hospital in the Palestinian enclave, but Israel said a Palestinian barrage had caused the blast. The death toll was by far the highest of any single incident in Gaza during the current violence, triggering protests in the occupied West Bank, Istanbul and Amman. Biden considering $100 billion. Funding request that includes Israel, Ukraine aid sources U.S. President Joe Biden may consider a supplemental request of about $100 billion that would include defense aid for Israel, Ukraine and Taiwan, multiple sources familiar with the request told Reuters on Tuesday. Biden has been widely expected to ask Congress to pass a supplemental spending bill within days, as Washington responds to the deadly October 7 attack on Israel by Hamas militants while looking to continue to support Ukraine as it grapples with a Russian invasion. This story has not been edited by DevDiscourse staff and is auto-generated from a syndicated feed.